Hey everybody, it's so good to see you. I hope that you're doing well. It is August 11th and I just spent a week just away, which was really nice. And so I feel recharged and refreshed. And so if you're here, I'd love to know, but I wanna talk about a topic today. So we talk about abundance more so in the spiritual world, right? But I really wanna talk about money. Money actually kind of grabs people in the gut and is like, ew, I don't want to deal with it. However, money is a tool for self-care. It's a tool for abundance and it's a tool for loving yourself and others. So we're going to talk about that today. If you're here, let me know. I'd love to say, hey, hey, Joy. Hey, Ginger. Good to see you. Hey, Amira. I'm so glad that everyone's here. And if you have questions, let me know. We'll see if I get um, some time to answer some as I'm talking about this topic. So let's just talk about money is spiritual, right? So is this a new concept to you? Maybe you haven't thought about it. Many people, when they start becoming aware and awaken to the spirituality, sometimes they've been taught that money was evil or they thought that you couldn't be rich and have money at the same time. Um, I was talking to one of my friends and she said that um, somebody came up to her. She was speaking at like a, a unity church. And somebody said, you, if you're rich, you can't be spiritual. Okay, let's just take all those things, take a deep breath and erase them, right? Let's erase them. So let's talk about money. When I say to you the word abundance, I'd like for you to tune into your gut. How does it feel in your gut? Do you feel like abundance? Yeah, I like abundance. That feels good. Like, tell me, tell me right now, when I say the word abundance, what feeling is attached to just the word abundance? How does it feel there for you? And then I'm going to do another little exercise. I'd like for you to close your eyes, put your feet on the floor, just tune into your body. When I say the word money, what emotion and feeling comes up? So when I talk to people who really have a sensation in their bodies, they might feel when I say the word abundance that they become lighter. Like, oh, I feel lighter. Ah, I feel excited. Maybe it's a feeling. Maybe their body feels like it expands or relaxes. And then if I say money, sometimes what I hear is, oh, I feel constricted. Oh, I have a like a punch in the gut or whatever it is. Sometimes we don't want to deal with finances. And then sometimes people are in their finances way too much worrying. So this word money kind of brings like old karma with it <laughs> that we need to get rid of. So I'm gonna talk about how money is actually really spiritual. So Ginger says it feels good, awesome. I've got freedom, never experienced abundance, so don't know. So Cindy, we gotta work on that really pay attention to the abundance that you receive every day from everything. And um, we'll have a free challenge coming up in September to help you with recognizing your blessings, which is really great. Um, Beth says she feels blessed. Ginger says excited. Amira says, I feel like in between. This is good. It's just knowing how you feel with the energy of it. But let's talk about how money is spiritual. So money really is just energy. If you think about the years, the decades, the centuries ago, whatever, people would trade energy for energy. And people still do it to this day. People trade services for one another. People will trade energy. Even in friendships, there's an exchange. In families, there's an exchange where we are there for our friend or our family member. And then without expecting repayment, we then receive that they are there for us when we have made those right balances in our life, right? And so with money, it's the same thing. It's just energy. It's just a tool that we decided this is going to represent a certain amount of value, just as we would in any other way, receiving a massage or receiving a, a all expense paid trip. It's it's a monetary value of it. And so money, when we look at how money is just energy, it's simply just a tool. And so when you are in relationship with someone, whether it's friend, family, spouse, whatever, 
when you're in relationship with your business, the relationship with yourself, we always want right relationship. We want to balance it out so that we don't feel drained and that we also don't feel like we are taken advantage of. And at the same time that we're not over giving. And two, we don't want to be in that place where we feel like we're taking either, right? And so the same thing exists with money. Money is a tool for abundance. And so what I'd love for you to look at is the relationship that you have with money and really work to make it in balance, work to make it right, work to make it where you feel fed and you feel balanced. And so one of the things that I know, I see some students here from Intuition Abundance Academy, you know that as you breathe, that's a great indication of how you receive and let go of energy. And if you think about money being energy in your life, and maybe you want to take a journal out and say, what areas of my life am I squinching off? Am I, am I keeping to myself? What areas of my life do I give freely? And then you can look at how, how are you with your finances? Do you feel like you're spending a lot? Do you feel like you are like trying to save? Are you counting every dollar? And so if I would just say you were counting every dollar with money, and you're worrying and you're not being grateful for all the money coming in, even if it's $2, like, let's be grateful for that money. Because when you're grateful, the universe says, huh, you like it. Let me give you more of that. Cool. I'm going to do that. Where your attention goes, energy flows, right? So if you are, though, worrying about it all the time, what normally happens is that you're also going to see some lack of abundance in other areas of your life too, in relationship or job or those types of things because you've got all this worry negative energy. So money is just energy and because it is energy, it is how you take care of yourself and others. So how do you take care of yourself and others? You may see an aha moment here and I'd love for you to think about this. It can be a little bit later on, but come back and tell me in the comments how does it feel when you think, how am I taking care of myself and others? Huh? Normally what happens is spiritual empathic people will naturally be givers and over givers. And then they might realize that their energy is drained. And then two, when they look at their money, they might be putting all the money and the priorities on everything else but themselves. And usually that's how they live their life. Now, as they shift and make changes, I know that many of you have inside of Intuition Abundance Academy, when you do that, then you start to see a shift in your life, but you might need to check back in your abundance sector and say, oh, wait a minute, I'm still planning for all these bills. I'm still planning for all of these other people's stuff. And I'm not really doing anything to invest in myself. I, I might have done it once, but I'm not doing it on a regular basis. So it's really about self-care. It's how you take care of others. It's how you take care of yourself. And if you are someone that is not wanting to look at your financial statement, then that's probably a neglection of your own energy as well. So we've got to look at how, how am I neglecting my needs, right? Like how am I neglecting my needs? Also, if you're someone that just is loving looking at their financial statement, that is fantastic. That's great. So I would say to you, wonderful. How can you amplify and magnify that so that you can attract more abundance in your life? So it's just a tool. It's all it is. And I see that there's some issues. Sometimes people think you can't be rich and spiritual and you can abundance comes in every part of our lives abundance has to be looked at in a way that can touch every aspect such as relationships love joy money abundance of blessings in our life and the more that you count your blessings in your life and the great the like send gratitude to it you'll see that the more blessings that you get it's like it just multiplies over and over and over but when we are looking at that negative aspect or we are talking about the deficits in our life, then we attract more of that too. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about of how it represents what's going on there. So a couple things I'd love for you to do is 
go through those areas of your life and look at the relationship you have and also look at, okay, how can this work with money? I'd also like for you to look at what energy am I giving myself? What energy am I giving myself and what energy am I giving others? Now, if you're saying to me, Whitney, I am so freaking tired. Like I am not like giving energy to anybody right now because I am dead, like drained, like so done after the day. Let's do this. Look at your energy leaks, right? So you have to look at what's leaking in your energy field. What activities in the day are you doing that you don't feel aligned with? What activities are you doing in your day that doesn't feel good? And then you can also look at where you're spending money too, which might be a potential energetic leap too. So maybe it's time to look at shifting and changing some of those areas that you are actually spending money on and even buttoning up some of those places can then also help you button up that energy field too. Remember money is energy and it's how are you treating yourself and how are you feeling? So money is self care. And I'd love for you to take a few moments, look at what's going on in your energy and see how you're feeling about all of this. So I love that we got to chat today. I'd love to know your ahas, your thoughts as you do some of this work. I think it's really important. I'm going to give you some tools coming out later this month to help you with this a little bit more. But I wanted to start this conversation because I think it's really important as we are manifesting. I think it's easy for us to say, I want to manifest abundance. But then when I actually say the word money, people are like, I don't know if I want to do that. So it's about time that we started really looking at the inner stuff that we need to shift so that our external stuff can shift. I think that's really important. All right. Well, I will see you all very soon. I'm going to be popping in back on Thursday, but I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.